y'all. I'm having a moment. I'm so emotional right now. I can't believe I'm here. It's so amazing. I just love, I love Europe. I love you, Europe. everything today. I have absolutely no clue what I'm going to do next and I thought I was going to have more of a sense of direction on that but I think what's just hitting me right now is I was thinking that I would just be home for not too long of a time that I would really just be a pit stop for me and that I would just be able to move somewhere right away but like I don't know why I thought that I don't have any fucking money <laughs> I don't know why I thought that I could just go somewhere having like money and just everything gives me such an ick feeling like an icky feeling I don't like thinking about it I don't care if I'm rich I don't care if I make a shit ton of money I just need to have enough to support myself and do the things that I want to do and that's all I care about so I need to build up some savings again and the reality of me having to stay here in Minnesota for at least another five six months is hitting me and that's just hard for me to accept and I'm only 23 I don't know why I'm freaking the fuck out but like it's that stupid societal pressure and I still let it get to me sometimes, even though it doesn't fucking matter. And this is where I'm at in my life right now and I can still experience the things that I want to experience that bring me joy and happiness wherever I am, no matter what. And I guess I just needed that reminder. And it's only a step for me to get to where I want to be because that's not just going to come to me, it's not just going to happen. I have to enjoy this. Like, I would just, I just want the audience to know that I'm not having a good time right now. That I really am confused. shop again lucky we were able to get it in when we could because this place is pretty busy and they just worked on it last week yeah last week um and said everything was fine everything looks good they said don't worry the engines on this thing are really good 
and I've had it for maybe a week and a half, two weeks. And so a part of me is just like, what do you want? Like, I, I don't know. I feel like I'm reading into this if this is the universe or if it's just we're terrible at picking used cars because uh, I don't know, part of me is like, shit, well am I supposed to stay here? Am I supposed to like move in somewhere? Am I supposed to get a place of my own? I don't know, but the thing is like I I got a car because I knew it would be easier for me to save money this way and I, I, I don't want to get stuck here. I don't want to feel like um, that I'm gonna be here for a while because it's just not where I want to be it's just maybe that is maybe this is where I have to be for a little bit I don't know it just feels like I'm wasting time if I stay here I'm wasting time and I'm not doing what I really want to do and I'm not where I want to be and I just really miss like the lifestyle that I had traveling and like people would tell me you know like it's kind of artificial it's not real like you're gonna have to come back to reality and you're gonna have to you know that was just a dream and i'm like well why does it have to be a fucking dream like why can't that be my life i want that to be my life we taste the rough so let's taste February 17th, 2023. Today I feel awful. I've been anxious the past few days and I didn't really know why, but I haven't been able to sit still and my thoughts are all over the place. I feel heavy and burdensome. I don't have a clue where to go next and every idea seems to not be working. I just want some hint of an idea of what I could do next, some sort of direction without feeling like I'm going to be stuck in a state of boredom or dissatisfaction. I can't live this way. I need to be pursuing something that fuels me, excites me, moves me. I can't settle, it's impossible, but I don't have any means to get me anywhere right now. I just want to be stable and happy with the moments that come in between. And after everything I've done and seen, how do I still feel like I'm waiting for something big to happen and it just hasn't come to me yet? How, after everything I got myself to do, I still want more? When people have so little, I don't want this icky feeling anymore, this feeling that makes me feel selfish and ordinary. I don't want to be ordinary. I want more than the life I've been brought up to idealize. I feel like I'm always so close to doing something amazing, something I can feel proud of, but I always fall short. I always stop myself. I just feel so many things and have so many thoughts and ideas jumping around in my head that it's impossible to sort them all out and put it down on paper. Like right now, I don't even know if I am explaining my own thoughts properly. My inner voice taking over so much, I can't even recognize my real one. I just want to shake me and dunk myself in ice cold water, but even then I probably wouldn't commit to that. Can I finish one project in my life that I actually stuck with and feel accomplished about? How can I know everything I know and still feel like shit? I did a positive meditation today and I felt so good for five minutes before learning the film courses I wanted to take run in the fall and not the summer. And I don't want to stay here through the fall time. That's too long for me. And I don't want to feel like I'm wasting my life away here in between. It's so fucking stupid and selfish.
Apparently everybody had the same idea as me because this line is long. But if there's anything that sparks my joy, it's a red hot ball of fire and the sun is setting and a milkshake that makes my tummy hurt. I think sometimes with social media and just society in general, we like to put our best foot forward and just kind of be perceived a certain way and we don't really want to show how bad it is or how it really looks and it can sort of mask I guess what's actually happening and we try we just try to make it look like aesthetically pleasing and you know showy I've found at least that for me it has not been like that at all it's been really really hard like it is not cute and pretty to look at yourself and all of the really I, w I don't want to say negative but look at yourself and all of the problems that you've caused for yourself and maybe your negative traits and habits and um, to really look at it and start to heal from it is like super ugly <laughs> at least it has been for me it's, it's exhausting it feels like shit I mean I have not felt like this shit ever in my life um, because I think maybe I thought I was healing from some of these things or I thought I was, you know, really turning a corner. But I was really just escaping a lot of it and distracting myself from the real work that it that it takes. Um, and yeah, I guess I guess some good news out of this is that that's how you know you're in it. Is if you feel like absolute crap, like just know that you're in it and you are gonna come out of it because it takes guts and it is difficult and um, you're very brave for doing so so let me just put that out there also because some people will never heal from their wounds and they will never really get to know themselves and I think that is so sad and so tragic and I don't judge anybody and I don't blame anybody for that but that's not what I choose for myself and I'm just trying to, I mean, that's all we can do. Just do your best as a human being. And know that uh, one day, this is what my mom told me, one day you're going to look back and you're going to just know that it was all worth it. And it will be. You're going to look back and you're going to say, it was worth it. Because look at where I'm at now. And you won't even know it until it's happened and it hits you and it's there. And that is possible. I just want to talk about breakups 
and share my feelings. I never expected that I would make a connection or meet anyone while I was back here at all. And it happened so suddenly and so quickly because it's crazy as much as I learned about myself and you know being content with me and who I am and where I'm at and being alone and you know I really grew to be comfortable with that because I've been single for so long in my life I have grown so comfortable with that and to then get into this relationship and feel like the life like my breath is being sucked out of me just the, the idea of being alone again was not what I wanted and I never thought that would happen I never knew how much a person could just consume you and your time and your energy and your thoughts <sighs>
It is just hard being home because I feel like I'm just constantly living in a state of nostalgia of the past. I, I can't think, I can't think about moving forward. I don't know. And it's not like I'm not trying, I'm putting myself out there. I'm trying to sort out these different, you know, steps that I can do to potentially like get somewhere, but they're just all falling through. They're not happening. I've been hurt this year. I've been hurt and uh, I think that was a bit of a reality for me as well. Wake up call, whatever. Reality check of how hard relationships can be in the work that's required for them. I guess I've always sort of had this, uh, always sort of had this, I don't know, maybe I always was living in this fantasy of this vision of how I imagined love and relationships and all of that to be and it just kind of smacked me in the face. It really did. It just kind of smacked me in the face and I was just like, oh, okay, I guess it's not like that. I don't look cute, but I just wanted to mention how, like the little things, I always get a little like excitement, like a little kick of joy when I go get ice cream. Like when I'm at home with my parents and we're about to watch a movie and we're like, should we get ice cream? And then we're like, oh yes, absolutely. And I just get a little giddy again. Like, you know, like, ooh, ice cream. Like it's gonna fuck me up, but I'm, I'm so excited. And like, I don't know, it like, revives me anyways i just went and got some ice cream i got mint oreo and some ice cream for my mom I just got out of my appointment. Um, 
seen Jenny. She is a psychic that I've seen a few years in a row now and she's amazing at what she does. She really has a gift um, and I just can't stop crying because halfway through she just kept saying she was getting distracted because there was just a dog running around everywhere and that was uh, Chauncey. <laughs> like how could she have known that? <laughs> And that um, he was going to be with me again in this life. Because I feel like I haven't felt him since we had to put him down. And this is the first time I really can like feel him again. So what I want. I have not documented like anything before I leave for Spain. I just like have been completely overwhelmed with everything. Um, I was working a lot my last week and a half and just really busy. I was just trying to make time for everybody in my life before I go. My parents, my brothers, my friends, my ex, um, just everybody and I've been feeling it I've been going through the feels <laughs> but I leave tomorrow which is crazy for me to say I I I've known this was happening for months now but I don't know why this time just feels so different it hits so different than times where I've left before I mean I've come and gone from home so many times now and I think why it hurt it, it hurts more this time is that it's more it's it's a bigger move than once before it nothing is ever permanent but this one is more serious <laughs> than past travels it's um sort of an, an initiation for me to land on my feet and land on something i am pointing in a direction and making steps towards it so it's just a bigger deal this time um like it feels like i'm really leaving home now and i don't know when i will be back um you know of course i can always come back if i absolutely need to that is the um the privilege that i have with my family is i'm very close with them which is why this is so difficult for me but at the end of the day i will always choose myself and what I want and I want to go for it I want to try and I want to do it and this is just the cost of living the lifestyle that I chose uh, but yeah I'm I've been emotional I just I have so many amazing people who come in and out of my life I just I'm so lucky to meet the people that I do and to have the family that I have and I'm so grateful for everybody who's been a part of my life and Everybody is so meaningful to me and I really didn't know what was going to happen when I came back home from Thailand and now almost two years later, a year and a half, which just flew by, um, I'm going to Spain and it's actually happening. I actually figured out a way to be able to go to Spain or go to Europe and travel again and I'm so excited. I can't believe I'm actually doing it. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling so much love as well. Like, and it's sometimes you don't realize how important you are to people, you know, until you leave, which is, should not be the case. Of course, I knew I meant something to like everybody around me, but so, um, you know, sometimes I just don't fully realize it, you know, how impactful you can be for somebody. And like, I just, I feel so loved. I feel so loved. I feel so loved.